What's up everybody, in this video we will learn to create enemy vision and hearing. I have already created a script here which is enemy vision but it of course covers the enemy hearing as well because both are on the same concept. And uh, let's see a demo here before starting this tutorial. Now as you can see if the enemy is facing right towards the player and uh, depending on our view radius which I believe it's, it's less than 40 here, if I hit play here, you can see that the player is running towards the enemy is running towards the player so that means that okay I can see you but what if I change this to 20 and if there is enough distance between the two you won't see the running you won't see the enemy coming towards the player because there is a, you know there is a limit on how far the enemy can see and same with the hearing so if I move the enemy right here and make it 40 and that's plenty is again there's plenty of um, well of course it's not 40 it's less than even 10 now so if I change the player forward direction towards the building and if our angle is working fine the enemy won't be able to see the player okay and when we go close even uh, towards the back of the enemy we will see that enemy can hear the player coming and uh, it starts to attack anyway so yep let's begin now for this tutorial I believe that you already have an enemy and you already have a player and you already have some sort of method to attack the player well of course if you have an enemy that means you have an attack method and if not maybe in the future and the way we are going in this video it's pretty much simple and can be implemented in any games you just you can maybe create some maybe a couple of bool variables and uh, check them when the enemy sees the player or hears the player so it will be pretty handy and it will be pretty straightforward in your game so I will create a script called enemy senses as you can see I have already done that just for testing purposes to make sure that I am on top of everything Let's open it up in Visual Studio. Let's create some variables. Of course, we always need some variables. The first one is the public float and that will be the view radius. And the second one is public float view angle, which will be the angle uh, between, you know, the, the, the eyes of enemy and view radius will be responsible for the distance between the player and the enemy. And uh, let's create a couple of layer masks and uh, the public layer mask target layer. This will be the player layer. Make sure you all, you have a layer on your player. And if not, then you can create a new layer and add. It's just like tags, but it's a little bit complicated, but that's pretty much it. And we will create a public layer mask obstacle. Actually, I forgot to mention but if, they, if there is an obstacle between the player and the enemy, enemy won't be able to see the player at all. For example, if the enemy is right here um, uh, and the staircases are blocking the enemy and the player is right here, the enemy won't be able to see the player unless the player runs and uh, you know enemy detects the hearing. And you can see I've already implemented those and we will see how those work when we create our own. Okay. And the next thing we are going to do is get the public game object player. Uh, we have pretty much all the what's called variables and these are only for enemy vision because the enemy hearing is pretty straightforward and we will do on the same concept. In the update method the first thing we are going to do is create a vector 3 clear target T -A -R -G -E -T and this will be responsible for the angle of player and enemy and we also want to make it this normalized because why not it will be easier to manage for unity and maybe for us as well and uh, also what we are do is we're gonna check the angle now if vector 3 and as you know angle is a part of vector 3 if I put it in simple English and we're checking the enemy's forward position actually direction and player target which is the our new newly created variable is less than view angle divided by 2 
Now, why we're dividing by two? Because 45 towards the, the right and 45 towards the left. Now this line will check if the player is in between that angle and if it is we will check the distance of course if float distance to target is equal to vector 3 dot distance let's transform dot position comma player dot transform dot position okay and we will add a new if statement and check if the distance to target is less than view radius that means okay something's not right there is someone but before we do that we must make sure that there aren't any obstacles and to do that we will use the raycast and uh, we will of course add an if statement if physics dot raycast transform dot position that means the position of the enemy comma player target comma distance to target and let's put our obstacle mask to check if there are any obstacle mask equal to false then that means the enemy has detected the player the player is in front of the enemy and of course the distance is less than the view radius or maybe you can put equal here just to be safe we will just debug dot log for now debug dot log i have seen you now if this works you can just call the attack method or whatever you like to do when enemy sees the player oh um, you know pretty simple let's go to unity now of course we need to add those let's put radius for like 30 and view angle is 90 you can leave it 90 or play with it and see what works better for your game and target layer is player and uh, ooh, let's put buildings so for example if there is a building in between then it should trigger it should not trigger at all and finally we will drag player and drop it into the enemy okay so if i move this guy towards the player and hit play let's see what happens okay has seen he has seen and he's running away or oh, because we have both scripts working sorry i'll deactivate this one and see what happens oh you can see i have seen you there okay i have seen you what if i just move you further to this side can you see me still of course you can't see me because you're too far away so if i move this move this move this move this nope not yet okay so here is here is i've seen you and here i can't see you so this is pretty much how you manage and of course if we check the angle and uh, we will rotate this guy and for this i will just take because controllers are for mobile and it's harder on pc to to rotate the camera so if i move you from behind you can't see me which is good yay it's working fine okay let's implement the enemy hearing now which is pretty straightforward and for that of course we will create a public float here radius now in the update method this works for hearing uh, for vision and for hearing we will of course create another vector 3 just to check the distance you can use the same distance but the problem is it's inside this so it won't be called until this is this is checked or you can move this guy here and see if it works but the way I have done it so it's it is working fine so I don't want to play with it and change anything okay so maybe here distance is equal to actually let's copy this line not vector 3 float change this to here distance here distance now for this you will have to get the the speed of the player and i believe you already have some sort of speed 
uh, attached um, I mean you know if you have a correct if you have the character controller of the player you can get that but uh, for this to work we want to make sure that if the player is running or if not then if not running then you can put a bool in your uh, player script and uh, check if the player is is you know walking or at least running or if the button is pressed some sort of you know method to check if the player is walking and if if you have that then uh, you can you know add the code here for this i will call my own player actually i already have the player i don't need to play call the player uh, for this i will check the script attached to the player which is if player dot get component the script which handles the player controller is player controller and inside of the player controller we have um, a variable called joe y copy which is of course a copy of the variable and checks if the speed of the the uh, player is less than or greater than and i'll check if it's greater than 0 0.5 that means my player is running and this time we'll put here distance is less than here radius multi uh, just here radius so what happens here is let me if you if you did not understand sorry uh, i will explain so the player controller is the script attached to the player if i go here this is the player controller script attached and this is the speed run speed which is uh, i could actually if i open this up for you so this is the variable we are taking joy by copy which is exactly copy of joy by which is which gets from input so it's pretty complicated to understand here but the thing is joy by copy which is a public variable and we are getting this this is the speed of the player when the player runs so or works so if you have any sort of variable like this then you can get that and put in inside of the enemy sense uh, script and check that okay so if all these are true that means you know I can hear you so let's just copy this guy I can hear you so if I go to unity and hopefully this should work because every time I move my joystick or uh, click on this run button the speed of the player is always 1.5 so so you know let's let's just see what happens well it can't or we have to go here and choose maybe hearing to 10 and let's move our enemy towards this guy here and here so let's play and see what happens okay he can't hear me he can't hear me but if i go closer 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 okay i can hear you you can see it i can hear you here so this shows that okay even if you are behind me i can hear you running so for this tutorial that's pretty much it and it's working fine and again you can just add your attack method here or whatever you like when enemy sees or hears you and also if we add a wall in between the player and the enemy let's just duplicate this guy and check the layer is default let's change this layer to building as you can see it can't see it but if I just deactivate this guy so you can see the player the enemy can see the player so yeah thanks for watching I hope the video helped let me know what you think of this video in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel for more unity tutorials